But first, friends, family members, and co-workers are remembering the life of Earl Robinson. Good evening, I'm Amanda Kenny, And I'm Jenny Walsh. Thank you for joining us. Robinson died Sunday after suffering serious injuries in last Tuesday's Atkins Power Plant fire in Bryan. The Atkins Power Plant operates remotely and had recently undergone some maintenance. So Robinson, along with his co-workers James Yandry and Maurice Carlson, were doing some tests when there was some type of failure that caused the fire. Now, Robinson spent the last six days at Memorial Hermann Hospital in Houston undergoing treatment for his burns. But it's not how he died that friends are talking about today, but instead how he lived. This picture of Earl Robinson up on stage at his church chapel wouldn't tell you too much about him, but those kids mesmerized by him would. I have a nine-year-old grandson who thinks Mr. Earl is the one who walked on water. Uh, he thinks Mr. Earl is just it uh, because Mr. Earl had him in children's worship, learning to lead singing and, and uh, handle communion and so forth. And so that's how the children here were. They just idolized Mr. Earl. Paul Atkinson has known Earl for 13 years and will always remember his bright shirts and shoelaces as colorful as his personality. Earl was a uh, child in a grown-up's body. I mean, he was a child at heart. He loved children and that positiveness that he shared with everybody, uh, young and old, was from that young heart that he had. Earl was a generation support operator for BTU, working for the company for the last 13 years. He had shown me pictures before of some of the, the new things they had gotten, new equipment. Um, he had talked about some of the tours he'd given and just some of the things they did there. A lot of love for his job. And clearly through his work with youth and children, he had a lot of love for them too. He was just full of so much uh, enthusiasm that, uh, you know, if he's leading songs for the kids or teaching the kids, it was always, um, it was always exciting. There was unexpected things that were going to happen because he was full of surprises. And that enthusiasm for life is exactly something he'll be remembered by. One of the most vibrant men I've ever met in my life, Mr. Positivity. Earl is survived by his wife and their son, along with his mom, three sisters, two brothers, many other relatives and friends, too many to count. Saturday, family and friends are gathering at his church for a service celebrating his life.